That man mind voice crack. See, I'm nervous. All right, look, the man mind res is officially back. Now, if y'all don't know, you know what I'm saying? Where we landing at? Where we landing at? What you feeling, dog himself, my Dorez? Look, man, I grew up watching their videos, you know what I'm saying? Went from the 2K to the Fortnite, took over, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know who my Dorez is, I feel sorry for you. Because his OG days in his prime hit different now, man. I'm telling you. But for, as a person that has watched my Dorez for a while, I'm happy to see that he's finally back. You know what I'm saying? I, I was I was following the lore of his of his, you know what I'm saying, his you know what I'm saying, his missing timeline. You know what I'm saying? But look, he's finally back. Why I've been gone. I need to see this. I need to. And like look, it's not even just about the being just not even like I could easily watch this off reaction. I just wanted to see this. And I'm streaming currently. So hey, knock two in one. I'm gonna click play. Hold up, before the video starts, did you guys know that 80% of you are not subscribed? Like y'all, what are you even doing? We're almost at 10,000. Go ahead and click the button for me, all right? And also, boy, I got a gaming channel, all right? Any game you can imagine, I've played. And if I haven't played it, I will play it. All right, so click in the link in the description. Check it out. Now, back into the video. Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's up, I'm Reds, you already know, and today, whoo, Oh my goodness! Yeah, bad. Need water, man. I need some water for this, man. Because hey, this man is strong. <laughs> this man's strong now. I've been holding in that energy for three <laughs> years almost, man. So, whoo! Let's save that energy. This for man the buff the now. Video. So in this video, I want to tell you guys that goodness I am officially gracious. back on YouTube. All right, I am officially back on YouTube because I am ready. I know it's been a very, very long time, and I didn't tell you guys that I was gonna leave YouTube. I actually said in my last video that I was gonna post every single day, man. Unfortunately, wow. yeah, you, so you did. I owe you guys a very, very he left deep longer than Corey. apology and also a very good explanation of why I've been gone, man. And um, let's get right into it. So we're gonna start off by doing a mini recap of what happened when I was in California, all right? That was one of my last videos that I posted and it was titled why I stopped posting on YouTube and the first reason why is because when I moved to California I didn't feel like myself man all right I would admit he that did, he did change up I ain't gonna lie I was like homesick it didn't yeah. feel like home it was such a big house I felt lonely you know very empty and um I actually left my entire family in the east coast when I went to California, of course I had Jaden, Kaylin, and Mama Res, but you know I left my friends, my family. It felt like I was starting a whole new life, man. And I will get more to that later on, but um, yeah, I didn't feel like myself, and that's when everything started going downhill, right? Um, I was still grinding, still doing videos, as you guys saw. So as many of you guys may know. Juice World was actually my favorite rapper and in one of the videos that I posted during Christmas My mom surprised me with a picture of Juice World and I said I was gonna get that picture autographed by him And unfortunately that couldn't happen because he passed away during the time that I stopped Rest in peace, Juice, Then right man. after Damn. that Kobe Bryant one of my idols yeah, man, Mama another goal, He's man. actually the one who motivated me Damn. to have this type of mentality, you know to grind no matter what yeah. and it um, was very very recent him being such a big idol it really hit me when What's he his name away. Mind he was actually nine minutes away from where i was living in california when he passed away man crazy and i never told you guys this but Jaden was having mental behavior issues when we moved to cali like a few months after we moved right he was very homesick and he was actually tricking us that he couldn't walk for three months and he was in a wheelchair that entire time, man. We were scared out of our mind. We thought that Jaden wouldn't be able to walk ever again. The doctors were telling us that he's having problems, this and that, man. It was a roller coaster of emotions. Damn. And he was doing that because he didn't want to go to class. He didn't want to go to school. He didn't want to go outside. He just wanted to be home because... He just felt, you know, very emotionally down, man. Like, he wanted to go back to the East Coast very bad. And um, it took that for us to, to notice that. You know what I mean? And um, it hit us very hard. But thankfully, 
Thankfully, nothing is wrong with Jaden. That's the good part about it. And as you guys know, Mama Rez had an accident, all right? She had a really oh, bad yeah, accident. Oh, yeah, the car I accident. I witnessed it in front of my eyes, man. That was a very traumatic situation. Everybody was scared, man. And just to clarify things, Mama Rez was in a motorcycle accident, not in a car accident, all right? So... I literally witnessed it in front of my eyes when she had the accident. I don't know if you guys Appreciate seen in the videos in California when the driveway is like a steep, steep hill in front of the house. And um, she got on a motorcycle, a three-wheeler motorcycle, and she literally drove down the hill and she blanked out as soon as she got on the motorcycle, right? Like, I don't know what happened. I don't know if she got scared or if she realized, like, she's in a bad position. Um, she had a helmet on, thank God, but um, she literally rolled down the thing so fast that when she hit the bottom of the, the, the street, she literally jumped off of the motorcycle and literally did so many 360s and then fell on the ground. As soon as that happened, I ran down there and it looks like she was out of it, man, all right? Um, I literally, her head was facing down and I lifted her head up and I literally, her, her, I, like, I saw her scream, Kaylin! But then, like, go back into a fainting type of um, state, right? Um, once that happened, I was scared out of my mind. I thought, like, maybe she was going to lose her memory. Maybe she wouldn't be able to speak again. Maybe her back was ruined, her neck. I don't know. That was crazy. But thank God that she made it through. All she had was some stitches. Um permanent scars but you know what is that when you when you're living you know a perfectly normal life again you know she also couldn't feel her face for three months and oh. there's something about seeing your mom possibly being unalive again and also getting a, a high risk of an injury that could potentially ruin her life forever all right and um part of me was very happy that she was okay but then a part of me was very down because that was a very traumatic experience man i do not wish that on anybody and then the vid came out in 2020 and um that caused me to be very isolated just like everyone else on quarantine and um my social skills went down dramatically because of that um i gained a whole bunch of weight because of all my emotions, the way to cope with it, I was overeating, and um, trust me, guys, I ate a lot. This is what I used to look like in 2021, man. In just about a year, I gained that much weight. Dang. And when I gained that much weight, guys, that destroyed my mental health, man. I was already suffering from my mental health before that, but even I was thinking that food was gonna do the job. No, bro. I was literally overeating and I got myself to that. That is not a great way to come back to YouTube. So at that point, I wanted to come back to YouTube, but then I looked like that. And I was like, wow, man, that is not the way, you know what I mean? And I didn't feel confident about myself. You know, confidence is the key to YouTube because if you're not confident, then you're not gonna appear on camera to, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So. That was just not the way to come back. Guys, being 5'7", 230 pounds is a very heavy weight, all right? I felt very heavy. I looked horrible in clothes. I didn't feel confident with myself, man. And I see why people get in this constant loop of just gaining weight, gaining weight, gaining weight. It's because, like, you're sad that you're overweight so the f and the food makes you happy so you eat extra food and it just makes everything worse man so it was a bad spiral during everything that was happening my cousin who was very close to me passed away oh, and I heard this about hit that. me extremely hard man um i never experienced a close family member or like someone that close to me passing away so it actually did hit me very hard and he was so young um that definitely threw me off my tracks for another couple of months. Um, I didn't want to go outside. Um, it was it was it was pretty bad, guys. And like I said, he was like my older brother, man. He was very very close like this, and um, 
Yeah, so I had to do something about my weight, right? Obviously, I wasn't going to stay like that if I wanted to come back to YouTube. And it was just overall not a good life to live. You know, when my fans saw me in public, it was already bad enough that I wasn't uploading videos. I already felt embarrassed to go outside because so much fans always notice me all the time. And I'm yeah, not they were uploading. recording him. I, like, I felt horrible, especially when they saw me overweight like that. They could have res, res? Is that you? Bro, what? Like, yeah, man, it was pretty bad. So then I started hitting the gym, and that's when my whole life changed, all right? I started eating a very healthy diet, started getting my protein in, hitting the gym every single day, and staying consistent in the gym. I had to stay consistent and have a purpose of some sort in my life, right? And the gym actually saved me mentally, man. All my emotions, I just let them go in the gym, and every time I come out, I go hard enough to make sure when I come out, I'm exhausted enough to not... Think about none of my problems and they just go away, man. And it's actually a huge passion of mine now. And thank God for that, bro, because I'm able to lift these heavy weights now, man. Ah, ah. Back with his jokes. <clears throat> Already back with his <clears throat> jokes. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Three pounds? These are Kalen's weights, man. What am I doing? I thought these were heavy. Oh my goodness, man. Relax, God, dude. It's just some weights, dude. Oh, yeah. relax, dude. It's okay. Just muscle, now now you flex it. Gym, chill, oh. chill. I now, get it. Around springtime of this year, 2022, no, I started meeting a whole bunch of fans when I went to New York, man. And um, they were all recording me. And somebody asked me, What time are you coming back to YouTube? Like, when? When are you coming back to YouTube, Rez? And I actually told them, Summer of 2022. So. You guys had my word that I was coming back in 2022. And guess what? You're not going to believe it. You came something back. Something else happened. It's like something keeps happening that holds me back from doing YouTube. And I was like, man. What happened? I'm going to get over these things no matter what, man. But this one was really, really bad. So um, I currently suffer from something called RCE. And it basically means reoccurring corneal abrasions. And you might be thinking, Rez, what is that? That's a lot of words, dude. What that is, is a that? lot of words. And I'm about to tell you, man. It basically means that the top layer of my cornea, where my eyesight is, keeps tearing when I open my eyes in the morning. And my, that's from my eyes being very dry, apparently. And no matter what I did, eye drops, drinking a gallon of water a day, nothing sufficed. I went to like seven different specialist eye doctors, man. And they were all telling me different things. I'm like, whoa, whoa, relax, dude. It's just an eye, dude. Whoa. He's back with his jokes and all that. I thought I was going to go blind from that eye. I don't know what was happening, bro. And then one he finally his, told he's, he's me back with the energy. what it was. Basically, what I have to do now, man, is put an eye ointment under my eyelid every single night before I go to sleep. To make sure that doesn't happen for me to be able to do videos for you guys, man. Um, This is what my eye looked like. Every time I had a corneal abrasion, when I tell you it is the worst pain you will ever go through, it is the worst pain you ever, 10 out of 10 pain. If you guys want to, you can look it up. It is the worst pain ever, man. There was no, and my eye was blurry. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't blink. I couldn't leave my eyes closed. I couldn't leave it open. Everything hurts. Oh. And um, yeah, I'll man. So now out. that I have a solution for that, I'm in shape now. You know, I'm happy. To come back to YouTube, I'm ready, man. And so the next video, I'm going to reveal to you guys how Jaden and Kaden look like and Mama Rez, man. Really? Um, you guys are not gonna believe how Jaden and Kaden look like now. Hold man. on, yeah. It is a they complete look, like it's been it's been a long time. And I'm gonna reveal where we live now, man. Do we live at the old house? Do we live somewhere else, a different state? Where do we live? Where is Mind of Rez staying at now? All these questions are going to be answered, man. Update of everything in my entire life. Next video, man. Okay. And I'm excited, guys. I'm really bro, it's excited. it's been so it's long. How they look, oh, bro? I'm not doing YouTube. Yo. They probably got deep very, voices It's now. weird because I was very sad not doing YouTube because, um, you know, other things were happening in my life. So I couldn't do YouTube because I was sad. But not doing YouTube was also making me sad, man. So... It was just a weird spiral, and I missed you guys so much, guys. I know it doesn't seem like it because I wasn't giving you guys updates, but I truly was, man. I was a coward about that, and 
I'm deeply apologized for that. Um, I was just scared, man. Like again, like I was just being a coward. Like I can't believe, like I let so many years pass by without updating you guys, without telling you I was gonna leave, without telling you when I'm gonna come back. I was like, man, it's been three weeks already. Like I'm scared to say something. Then became three months, ten months, a year, two years. Now almost three years. Like it's crazy. Like just to turn on the camera. I was scared, man. When I turn on the camera right now, man, my heart was beating so fast because it's been so long. If it wasn't for you guys, man, oh I would God. not have the confidence to come back. You know, you guys leave such amazing comments, and I'm like, wow, you guys support me to this day. Like, nah, that's crazy. This you guys fan are base so is loyal. great, though. Comments like this, like this, like this, like this, man. You guys are amazing, bro. I did. I, I and, wanted to come um, back too. I love bro. you guys. I, I missed you guys a lot. I thought about you guys every single day. These last almost three years. I thought about you guys every single day. And I just couldn't get myself to turn on the camera, guys. I just couldn't because of everything I mentioned in this video. And because I was a coward to come back. Because I didn't tell you guys anything. And, um, yeah, it was just a constant spiral. Every time I went outside, I saw fans and they kept telling me, Rez, please come back. Please come back. You know, I was getting comments on social media. People were telling me I saved their life. Um, they go through terrible things at home. And, um, comments like that, man, it's just like, wow. Like, I really meant that much to people and I really entertained the youth. It's just crazy, man, because... It's just me talking Definitely to a camera, me. but at the same time, I'm over, I'm over, I'm over sitting there my bed, watching, watching that YouTube video. It's actually pretty crazy. So <laughs> I thank you guys for that. But I hope bro, you guys are look, ready bro. for the next. I grew video, up watching man. this man. Make sure bro. subscribe, turn on notifications because mine arrest is back. The hey. rest gang family, let's go, man. Let's go. Woo. He back. Oh, that's fire. That's fire. Let's go, bro. I can't wait.